Guess what we're gonna do today, guys? What? We are going to go swim at Aqualand. Yay! <laughs> Okay, so we got the whole crew here this morning. Hey, you want to go swim with the fish at Aqualand? We are going to build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. I'm back. Today is day two of my buddy Aaron's rebuild of his parents' pond, and I brought the guys bagels because today I have reinforcements. It's Ed, the pond professor that's coming out. I've got Dave Kelly, the head of our product development team that's been here for uh, 26 years. And I got all the guys bagels because today's gonna be a fun day. So it's always more fun to build than to destroy always because we got some creativity going on. But I think I'm gonna have some fun with the kids today. I think they worked really hard yesterday. Right, kids? Yes. Jack, did you hear you're coming out with me today? Yep. All right, we got some bagels for you, buddy. Okay, so this is the morning meeting that happens. Miss Amanda runs it, and we got some bagels in there, guys. Awesome. Thank you. Daniel, you coming with me today? I'm coming out after I run another errand. Okay, well, you can still have a bagel. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, yeah, it turned out really nice. Look at this, we got the tech guys joining us for a meeting. This is great. <laughs> Welcome to construction. Well, grab a seat, guys, and grab a bagel. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Okay, so we just got done with our morning 15 minute meeting. Before we started this project to finish it today, I thought it would be good to just know a little bit about my friend Aaron and hear from some of the people and uh, that knew him and just an amazing man and I'd love for you to get to know him too. Guess what we're gonna do today guys? We are going to go swim at Aqualand. Yay! <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we got the whole crew here this morning. Hey, you want to go swim with the fish at Aqualand? <laughs> so I saw Ed just pulled in. Let's wait for Ed and then we'll walk around the back and I'll show you guys what we got going on. Okay, guys, come on, follow me. Ed, you're 15 minutes late. I know. I have animals to take care of because that one's at my parents. Oh, take care of your dad, huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So okay, Ed. Eating animals in the morning. Okay, so yesterday I had to work hard, but today I brought an army. I don't know how this worked out. It was just supposed to be Ed, Dave, and myself today, but then Dave decided to bring your entire product team, and these guys worked really hard yesterday, and you ran around a lot yesterday and played in the mud, which is yeah. good, but uh, here's what we got, guys. A mess. <laughs> and it rained last night, so it's a nice muddy mess. <laughs> All right, Ed, how'd I do ho hogging this out? Yeah, it looks perfect. So I thought this is going to be the intake bay area there with four yep. blocks over there. And then this is going to be a beach area over here. I got a really nice stump because yep. we're going to rebuild that waterfalls. It just needs to take that out. So we'll rebuild the bottom waterfalls, yep. take care of the pond. We can use some of this rock, some of the rock that you, you tagged because Al yep. wanted uh, moss rock, moss right? Rock. Some updated moss. But for 25 years, guys, our products worked in this pond. That's awesome. You know. That's incredible. So uh, literally, we're ready to get started. The whole stream and everything, we're keeping it because it, it's been working for 25 years and it's great, but it was a mess. There was a lot of muck down there after 25 years. So you said this is going to be great for Lily, your dog, because she loves to go in the water, huh? She does, yeah. And in fact, that's why we called her Lily because when she gets into the pond, she just kind of blends in with all the lilies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Dave, you got your product guys out here yeah, today. All good. Okay, good so I think I'm going to have fun with the kids today. I think we're going to go play with the fish. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You too? Okay, I won't forget you. <laughs> Aqualand. Oh, I'm going to take him swimming at Aqualand. You guys are working. Oh, nice. Come on, go get him, buddy. <laughs> I was just supposed to be the three of us, and then you brought your whole team, so we're good to go. All right, Ed, do your thing. All right. It's all the boys. That's right. It's all boys. We have no girls out here working. Where's your sister? Sleeping? <laughs> okay, Eddie, what's the game plan here today, bud? With all these guys, it was just supposed to be you, Dave, and I, and now we got an army, but everyone loved Aaron. Yeah, exactly. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean out all the muck and the mud out of the bottom. Kind of reshape stuff a little bit. Everything looks pretty good. I'm gonna double check the area over here for the aqua blocks. We'll get our fabric in place liner, and we're gonna start putting in some of the original stone. And then I wanna save those big mossy rocks for kind of that back edge where it's a little bit more visible. Maybe put in one or two on this upper edge just because it has a little bit more character to it. Reconnect all the plumbing and everything. So again, having Dave's product guys here is, will be great. They could do all the mechanics 
mechanics, they could get the pump fault in place, get the plumbing set up, reconfigure. He had a jet set up over on this side. So I think we have a good team here to put all these different pieces together. Did you see the nice stump I brought you? I did. Do you know where I wanted it to go? I'm guessing maybe somewhere over You're on You're right there. I thought that'd be really nice on that backside, a nice vertical. I think yeah. it's a cedar stump. Or... I think it is. I think yeah. it's cedar. Yeah, so, it's going to be perfect back over there. But the stream doesn't need to be rebuilt. And then they want a beach area here for the kids. Perfect. So just a nice, slow entry gravel area so for the we kids. we may need a little bit more gravel. We'll see just because with a beach it comes. I got, I got 20 bags of gravel and if you need anything, we're gonna go get some aquatic plants. Okay. And I can get some more gravel because we're going swimming at Aqualand. Right, Yay! Where are we at, bud? We got the pump vault is installed. Everything's leveled off. We had to pull apart that waterfall because the liner is a little bit low over there. So we're gonna have to reconfigure some of that type of stuff. And then we got everything leveled up. We're ready to put in our liner. I think someone's throwing rocks at you. <laughs> he just hit me. Hey, don't you have some aqua blocks to build? <laughs> Body armor around here, bro. <laughs> 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 Look at her, he's got a pretty good arm. So, Asher, what'd you put together up here? <laughs> Had you ever built aqua blocks before? Kind of like Legos, huh? So, this is going to be for the intake bay, these aqua blocks. The kids help put them together, and uh, it'll be easier maintenance for grandpa. What, you go away for a month every summer up north? At least that. No, sometimes two or three months. Two or three months. So this will maybe once a month in the summer have to skim the leaves off of here, which I'm sure anybody can come by and do. But it won't it won't need to be cleaned as often as a skimmer that did quite well when you're home. But if you're not if you're not home, you got aqua blocks on an intake bay. Hey, haven't you seen that little challenge they've been doing walking up to milk crates? Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> With this, it's a little bit it's a little bit easier. <laughs> Hey, Asher, can you go underneath the liner and grab, there's a rock that fell and I saw it. Just climb under there, go under there, Asher. Okay, all right, right there. Okay, now everybody start beating on him. Ah, <laughs> uh, I was just kidding, Asher, you can get out. <laughs> That's what we do to all the new guys, Asher. All right, Jack, what are you working on over here? Right now we're rocking in our intake bay. And for those of you that don't know what an intake bay does, it's pretty much a large scale skimmer. And so the reason why we're doing this on such a small pond is because the homeowners are out of town halfway over summer. So instead of having a skimmer and worrying about the pump sucking air or it getting clogged in the skimmer, we have a big intake bay. So it allows a lot more volume of water to pass through and get down into the pump that's gonna be sitting in our pondless vault. So as you can see, we have our pondless vault here in this corner. And then we have six aqua blocks or five and a half. We have a half of one cut here to fit against this vault. And so right now we're pretty much just gonna start rocking on the sides and the skies in this. And as you can see where Ed's at, you see this piece of underlayment here. And the reason why we did that, we have it come down all the way from the bottom of the pond, all the way to the, here, all the way up the face of that. And that's gonna prevent water from coming in from the sides and restrict that flow. So we get that nice skimming action coming in here. So we can collect all the leaves and debris in this intake bay. So how did you determine the number of aqua blocks going inside of the system here? How we determine how many aqua blocks we use is we go off of a hundred gallon per minute so in this area one minute's worth of water to be held in these aqua blocks so usually we go off 100 gallons per minute is our go-to mathematical term and that's what so the pumps that we have in here so it's a four to seven thousand by the time we calculate in head height yep. we're gonna be at about six thousand gallons per hour which is 100 gallons a minute which yep. is perfect <laughs> I love it all right so what are you doing next now so we're gonna disguise all this stuff yeah so we're pretty much gonna work so we've been working with the granite that uh, came out of the pond and yeah. yesterday Daniel picked up two pallets of 
moss rock. So we're gonna use that, it's all nice and chunky. It's a lot more pleasing that we like to call it. And so we're gonna get it all in here. Pretty much wherever you see the underlayment is where we're gonna get the moss rock at. Nice. And then along this side, we're gonna have to get something bigger to hold back and retain a lot of this soil back here so it doesn't flow into the pond. Yeah, I can see there's a bunch of exposed soil back there. So all that has to be kind of held in place or protected. Okay, yep. all right, let's get at it. going on team aquascape fans dk coming at you greg has taken the kids off to aqualand to play in the big pond ed is hopefully on his way back finishing up some stuff for pandemonium actually tomorrow which will already be gone by the time you watch this but jack and i are going to start setting moss rock in the pond we got a bunch of the product team out here with us and they are kicking butt and taking names on this pond rebuild everything's looking phenomenal we got the intake bay back there where fred's at pretty much finished up all plumbed got a little bit of rock work that matt's finishing down there we're going to start setting the moss rock on this front edge and on the back shelf we got to redo that waterfall all in moss rock it's going to look phenomenal and it's really coming together so stay tuned it comes down all about the rock choice we got ed and jack up here in the azuzu yeah. picking out the right boulder for the waterfall frame rock and to go up against the hillside so one of the things that we always do even though we've got the thumb on the 304 and the 303 is we always use heavy duty lifting straps so that we can control our load and control the placement of each boulder got ed right now strapping one up so jack's over there in the 304 he's in a swing around and pick it and we're gonna take it up there into the yard and get it set now remember kids if you go too far to the left you can keep spinning you can turn this thing over why are we letting him run it we're all about giving these kids an opportunity one i was gonna say something but i guess not you
how do you think it's going? Um, it is moving along. <laughs> it's been a hot one. A little bit warm today. Thankfully, we're getting more and more in the shade now. Uh, basically, our challenge right now is just finishing up that back wall. Because of this big slope coming down, we have to retain all that stuff. So we pulled a lot of that old stuff out. Now we've got to just stabilize everything. We have to rebuild the waterfall, and then we got to start doing this yeah. whole front edge to try to retransition from the pond back into the existing patio. All right, looking great. Tired. Ed is the machine. He's outworking all of us. <laughs> what do you think, Jack? It's I said it before, it's hot out. It's been your theme this week. Yeah, it has. It's been a hot one. Um, you act like it's 100 degrees. Oh wait, it is. Yeah, it is. As you can see, we are just about done with the pond. We are just starting to work up in that area where Ed's at right now. So right now, what Ed's doing is he's making a wall on the inside of the liner so we can do a proper overlap without seaming. So right now we have to make a wall on the inside of the liner so then we can place our liner on the inside of that and then backfill with dirt behind it. So then the streamliner doesn't sink and the pond liner doesn't sink causing a leak in the future. So now since uh, we got some more gravel, we're able to backfill behind that those rocks and make sure everything's locked into place and so we could uh, finish everything up. So with that being said, we have the sand and the gravel and now we're able to finish up all our edges and uh, we could yes, yes, do yes, a yes, rinse yes. and we get to get this thing filled up. Get your shoes. Sounds good. I'm gonna go home for dinner. You have fun doing that. I'll be back later. No, just kidding. We're gonna get back to oh, work. Here. Ready? Here. Yeah. So we're putting the soldier course back in of the pavers. We have basically, the whole pond is done. The kids are just washing it off right now. We got another extra piece of liner coming just because we didn't have quite enough liner to go from the pond all the way up to the stream. And then we're gonna build that bottom waterfalls there. Tonight. Tonight, absolutely. You're not planning on bugging out on me, are you? <laughs> hey, we had some fun at Aqualand, did we not? What'd you think of Aqualand? I good. It. it was so cool. Wait, why am I so That's cool. Boy. The best place ever. I'll do with that. Okay. Corey brought the liner. He saved the day. All right, so you can see how I'm putting this together here. I love how they put this log that I brought in this morning. And this is just gonna be a really cool rushing area like this. It's just the jigsaw puzzle. So right here, I could build another one out, but I really don't want to. I wanna get a frame rock that goes up high and keeps kind of the integrity of this rock. So now I'm trying to pick through the last little bits of rock right here and get a higher rock in this area right here so that I have some elevation. And then this is just a rushing stream that's gonna come in here and just foam this joint right up like that. And then we gotta build the rest of the waterfall. What do you think, Asher, pretty good? Yeah. I think you should put some on your brother. <laughs> it's like the worst idea ever. <laughs> the worst idea ever. Get it back that <laughs> I love my job.
nice. So we didn't do a single thing to change anything that Aaron created all the way down this way. We just redid that. And uh, speaking of Aaron, these are his kids. They have the energy of Aaron. You know, Aaron lost his life to cancer. I love going to his celebration of life because they really talked about how much the pond world impacted him. Working with Ed, you know, working with myself, working with Dave. <laughs> And every day in life is a precious thing, but I think that the thing that we should do to end this vlog is to really honor Aaron and his legacy. Literally hear from his celebration of life what the water world meant to Aaron. Peace and tranquility for a moment. Hi. Like I said, a moment. 